Hi, this is Chris Kent, an author of the book, China, 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 Greatest Disruption to American Century. China experienced spectacular growth in the last 30 years. However, the next 30 years will be very different due to a confluence of many factors. This chart shows the dramatic decrease in China's GDP growth in the last few years, from 14% in 2007 to less than 6% in 2019. In this decade, China will grow at 4% per year if there are no financial crises. What fueled China's economy in the last 40 years? The number one reason was the explosive growth in urban population. Hundreds of millions of Chinese moved from rural areas into the cities. These migrants turned China into the factory of the world. They also literally built Chinese cities, millions of homes, highways, railways, bridges, etc. This trend is coming to an end. China's urban population has almost peaked and China has built most of the infrastructure it needs. The second reason for China's slowdown is the unsustainable debt, which is now staggering three times the GDP. During the last eight years of Xi Jinping's administration, the GDP grew only 73%, while corporate, government, and especially household debts have skyrocketed. This debt-fueled growth cannot last too long. Already, many conglomerates, including real estate developers, have gone bankrupt or teetering on the edge. Here we can see the drastic increase in the population of senior citizens above the age of 65. But the real situation is much worse since the average retirement age in China is 54. China's workforce is aging and shrinking. It peaked in 2017 and will have 100 million fewer workers by 2030. Of course, this means fewer workers in manufacturing and construction, two pillars of China's economy. This will also mean fewer consumers and fewer buyers of homes. This double whammy will have a serious impact on Chinese economy. Chinese families aren't having enough babies, even though the government now allows up to three children. Last year, there were only 12 million new births, the lowest number since 1961, the year of Great Famine. This year will be even worse. In fact, China's population will start to decrease within a couple of years. In summary, unless China embraces dramatic changes in its domestic and foreign policies, its economy will continue to slow down significantly.